Hey, hey, hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk about Erling Haaland. I think that's how you pronounce it, Erling Haaland, um, to Manchester United. And before we get into the news, if you're new to the channel, really appreciate it if you like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. So let's begin. So Erling Haaland um, in the January transfer window. Now basically this is news coming from... Corella della Sport, um, obviously an Italian pub public journalist that's frankly semi-reliable. Um, but basically what they're saying via the metrics, covered by a few stories, is that um, well, they're saying that Napoli expect United to produce a massive bid for Haaland in January. Like they won't be able to match Napoli for having been linked with Erling Haaland. Um, and basically saying that United anticipate United will go for him. Now, Normally, I wouldn't cover this type of story. I mean, we haven't mentioned him about before. Um, you know, he's he, with something a bit more concrete. The only reason why I bring this up is, one, I haven't covered this. Two, a key thing that I think a transfer in, in a January transfer window is likely for Erling Haaland is that, one, he's obviously forward. He's 19. He's showing great promise. He plays for RB Salzburg. He scored 21 goals in 14 games to the Austrian side. Um six of which have been in the Champions uh, Champions League, actually. Um, six in three in the Champions League, for that matter. But more importantly, um, there's the additional alert that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer worked with Holland um, at Mulder. Like, he coached on, uh, uh, he coached him at at, at, um, at Mulder, which was obviously Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's former club. And so that really has a, a, a connection there. Uh, on top of the fact that, like, obviously, they're both Norwegian speak same language. So, to be honest, if we're talking about a potential signing, yes, RB, Salz RB Salzburg right now are in the in the Champions League right now, but to be honest, a very good chance that they're not going to be um, qualifying from the group stage come Christmas. Um, they're probably going to end up going into the Europa League, I would say. Um, but there's opportunity. If Manchester United can make a sufficient bid, um, Nelson was an otherwise, I don't know if there are any, any RB Salzburg fans, um, but this, to be honest, for me, um, would be a good signing. Um, the air is an argument that if you sign this guy who's also 19, is there any room for Mason Greenwood, um, who's also quite young himself? Personally, I think there is, although Oli doesn't seem to be using Greenwood that much. And if I was Oli, to be honest, um, what he's doing with the youth, I would just send out all the youth on loan. I think that getting another forward when we're so short is quite a uh, especially because Rashford needs a rest. Marshall is some semi injury prone, and then you're just left with Mason Greenwood. So, getting Ellen Holland in January is probably the closest, I think, aside from Manzukic, who's 31, but at least we've got long term here. But getting him as a, as a forward option, I think, in, in January would be very, very good and, it's, and very, very likely, given the fact that he won't be ridiculously expensive. And on top of that, there is that link between him and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer already having worked with him already. So there is already that connection, that communication, which is very, very useful for us. Um, so yes, while it might be Napoli speculating, I do think that there is a chance, that, um, a good chance, that United will go for him um, in January. Um, and fingers crossed, because we do need reinforce for reinforcements. Um, so what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment description. Um, do you think that we will be able to go for Erling Haaland in January? Um, do you think it's a good move? Are there any other forwards you think that we can go for? Because honestly, I can't think of any um, in, in my mind right now, to be honest. Aside from him and Mandzukic, I can't think of anyone else. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Once again, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, WeUniteX. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.